The sympathetic division of the ANS seems to have a role in controlling and coordinating immune responses. First of all, epinephrine released into the blood during the fight or flight response can affect immune cells. But the sympathetic division directly innervates all lymphoid tissues. Some of this innervation controls vasculature, and so therefore blood flow to immune structures is under sympathetic control. In addition, sympathetic neurons travel to parenchymal tissues in these lymphatic structures where neurons interact with immune cells. This occurs in the bone marrow where sympathetic stimulation can affect differentiation and egress of bone marrow cells into the blood occurs in the thymus where this affects differentiation of T cells and thymocyte number. This innervation is observed in the spleen, in lymph nodes, in the mucosa associated lymphatic tissue throughout the body including the GI tract and the bronchi, and then even in tertiary lymphatic structures which form during chronic inflammation. Altered sympathetic stimulation has been observed to have a number of effects on immune responses. While the effects of the sympathetic nervous system on immunity is complex and still under study, in general sympathetic stimulation seems to decrease inflammation, increase the number of granulocytes and natural killer cells in the blood while having little effect on lymphocyte numbers, decrease the maturation of T cells and encourage humoral responses at the expense of cell mediated responses. In general it has been concluded that there is no direct innervation of lymphatic tissues by the parasympathetic division of the ANS. There may be some parasympathetic influence over immunity in that some afferents of the parasympathetic division, such as the vagus nerve, travel to regions of the brain which determine the sympathetic control over the immune system. And so therefore, the parasympathetic division may have an effect on immunity by influencing the sympathetic direct control over immunity. Also, it is possible that the parasympathetic stimulation of other areas, such as the gut, may re result in hormones being produced, such as cholecystokinin, which then travels through the blood and may have effects on other tissues. But in general, it seems that the direct control over the immune system is the province of the sympathetic division rather than the parasympathetic division.